In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Wix automations to monday.com. Now it's pretty easy and straightforward to do, but make sure you pay close attention to the video to ensure you get every step correct. So let's get right into the video. The first thing we need to do is log into Wix like I've done here, and then you need to ensure that you're on the correct site that you want to set this up for. So I'm on my site, and now I want to go onto the left hand side and scroll to the bottom where it says automations. Then from automations, we're going to click on that and wait a second for it to load. It might take a second. It seems to be a bit slow, this section. But once it's loaded up, we're going to go to the top right hand corner and we're going to create a new automation. So we're here. We're going to click new automation. And you can, if you want to, use one of their pre-set up ones. But I prefer to create from scratch because it gives a lot more flexibility. So I'm going to go ahead and click start from scratch. Now, once we're here, what we can do is we can go ahead and pick a trigger. So it really depends what your needs are. But I'm going to click on site members. And we can select different trigger here. So when a member logs in, when someone visits, when someone signs up to the site, when a member is approved, I'm going to click on the signs up to your site thing because that will work well for monday.com. And then you can set the trigger. Uh, frequency so I'm going to put once per contact and then we're going to go ahead down here and we could set a delay or a condition but I'm going to ignore those for now because it's not very relevant what we're going to do that once we're down here is we're going to go on to the connect to Zapier button so we're going to click there and we're going to click activate now it's going to ask you to put a name in for the automation so I'm going to type in monday.com and I'm going to hit save lastly it's going to ask you to set up Zapier but we're just going to click activate anyway because we're going to do that in a second. So now it says your new automation is active. Give that a second to load and make sure it's all good. And if it is, we can then go ahead into Zapier. So we're now inside of Zapier and we're going to go to the top left hand corner here. And we're going to go on to the create a zap section. Now once we've clicked that, we're going to go ahead and go on to the triggers. And for trigger, we're going to type in Wix. Now for the event, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and click on Wix custom triggers. We're going to click continue. And here it's going to ask us to connect our account. So you just want to click the connect button there. It will, it will make a new pop up, ask you to sign in, but do it. It's all fine. And it's just going to get you to allow access to Zapier. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and click continue. And then we can go ahead to automation rule. Now we've just created the one called monday.com. So we're going to want to click that one there. And we're going to click continue. Now it's going to go ahead and ask us to test the trigger here. We'll do that to make sure it's all set up correctly. And you can see, boom, it's connected up correctly. They've been able to find records. So this is all data that's pulled from Wix. So we're going to click create a continue with selected record. So next in here, we're going to type in Monday. And we're going to get the pop up there for monday.com. And there's a ton of different events we can set up now. So we could create a new board. We could create an item on a board. That's probably the most likely one. But if you look through here, there's a ton of different um, actions that you can do. But I'm going to click create an item. So now we're going to click continue. And it's going to ask us to sign into our monday.com account. Now, once we're in here, it's going to ask for our... Now, once we're in here, it's going to ask for our API v2 token. So we can get that from monday.com. Okay, so here we are inside of monday.com and we need to go up to the top right corner and we need to click on our profile. And then once we're on our profile, we need to go over to the administration option. Then we need to go down to where it says API. And from here we can generate a new personal API token. Now click generate and then copy that. Make sure you keep it secure so no one can see it. Now we can go back to this Zapier um, login option here. We can paste our API key in here and click yes, continue to monday.com. And you can now see that we've linked up the monday.com account. So we're going to continue. And then it's going to ask what board do we want to put it on. So I'm going to click here and just select the board. I've got that board there. It's going to ask for the group ID. So if you have different groups, you can put them in there. I'm going to put this on the to-do list, for example. Now for item name, this is where you're going to pull data directly from the um, Wix data. So it's going to be dynamic. So we could put name, ID. It really depends. I'm going to put item name here just for now. You can also type text in here if you wanted to. Um, it's really up to you. So you can set a new item. It's up to you. 
Sub item name, you can also do that, which is more data you can pull. Owner, so you can select who you want to send this to. Status, um, put, you can start as not started, do whatever you want. And you put a due date in here. You can you can format this um, in different ways. So if you look here, you can put stuff like in underscore week. So you could put like in one week. So that's going to set the due date for one week from now. Or one week from the date that the item's pulled in. So we're going to click continue here. And now we're going to click test step to make sure it's all integrated properly. And boom, you can see it now works. It's created an item. So I'm going to click publish here. And when I click publish, what it's going to go ahead and do, it's going to set the Zapier up and it's going to make sure it works automatically. You can also make sure it's turned on here and you should be good to go. So now if we go and check in monday.com, we should see the item that's been put up there. And you can see here, new item that we just created. The due date is one week from now. And yeah, it's all ready to go. So basically that's how you do it. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like, subscribe and comment down below that it helped. Thank you for watching.